M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's add Wi-Fi search to our DV Mega Genesis hotspot. First step, go to this link here, which is in the description. Go to your call sign and you've got the instructions here and I have a video coming up telling you how to use them. And then we've got your file. So double click your file and save that somewhere where you can use it. And this is for the 3.5 version. Plug an Ethernet cable into your hotspot. It's going to be a lot easier doing it that way first. Then go to configuration. Uh, let's start off at here, configuration. Scroll down and we're going to keep going right to the bottom until we get to the section that says firewall configuration, which is one from the bottom. Firewall configuration here. Then see where it says on the left here, auto AP. Go across and just select the blue dot to off so it's auto AP over to the right blue dot off then select here just underneath apply changes when you've done that you're going to need to go back into configuration then go across here to expert like so and then across to the left of this expert you've got the word Wi-Fi underneath the big white writing digital in small writing it says Wi-Fi and you're going to need to copy and paste this into yours into yours but the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to delete your one so you left click with your mouse and then you can delete now I would save it first I would go copy and I put that paste that somewhere so you don't lose it you can paste it into any browser um, I'm going to copy it like so because I don't want to I'm going to put it back in there now so anyway to delete it we'll select it all yours will have your username and password of your router at home delete hit the delete button okay it's gone and and then right click and copy the thing I, that you the the file that I'm going to have in the description of this video paste once you've pasted it scroll down and click apply okay and that will apply those settings when you've done that then just go back to your dashboard and then what will happen is you'll now get the file from Carl and you'll all read it. Your PyStar hotspot is completely ready uh, for you to use Wi-Fi on the screen and it will work just like your phone does. You tap the screen, it will search, you choose the one you want, put your password in and save it. So thanks very much to Carl. These are great updates for these hotspots. They can do, they can select D-Star reflectors on the screen. They've got the history, the map. They, they can also send POXAC messages and more and, and so much more so and then the IP addresses on the screen as well you've got your temperature uh, IP temperature I'm just looking at frequency pi star version you can actually update these from the screen as well and and lots more 73 all the best bye for now right plug your USB stick into your PC open up your Explorer here yeah, now this is my where my USB drive is plugged in then find the file that you've just downloaded, and I've put that here. Okay, and now double check that it's your call sign, really important. So there you are, look, M0FXB, and then drag that into your SD card. And let's put that SD card into our Nextian screen on our DV Mega Genesis hotspot. Let's turn over my 3.5, and guess what I've done? I don't think you should do this, but I've cut a hole, but otherwise you're going to have to take off these two bolts, these two bolts, carefully lift the bottom off so that you can get your card in. So it's unplugged, as you can see, and let's put the card in, and it goes in that way round. Look, see that? Let's have a good look. Get it the right way round. It's a lot easier. Just gently, you'll hear it click into place. Now the power's off at the moment. So you do remove it after it's updated. So put it back the right way round. Apply your power, and it should, if, if it's correct, load that file that you need. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, it's doing it. See that? Copy, and it will keep going until it says 100%. Very important that you get the right one for your machine. So let's let that get to the end. When it does get to the end, you've got to take the card out. So let's let it do that. It says check data. 
update success. So turn power off, turn it back upside down. And then just give it a little push and then take the card out if you can get your fingers in. When it's out, now the next thing is let's get our Ethernet cable in there. You do need to have the Ethernet cable in for this to work. So let's plug it in. Now we've already configured our Pi Star settings as per earlier in the video. So Ethernet cable is in and we have power. It's booting up, that's always a good sign. It'll boot up in the normal way, but hopefully when we tap the Wi-Fi, we should be able to do a search and then add my Wi-Fi because it will connect using Wi-Fi, sorry, using Ethernet. And it does need to have an Ethernet connection for it to search for a, a wireless Wi-Fi. And you'll see it says version 2.1 there. It's got my core sign. Right, so we're connected, so let's have a go at the Wi-Fi. So we will push DV Mega here. Then we'll tap, see the Wi-Fi emblem there. And then tap scan, scan network. It does take, you know, it takes a minute. Just be patient because it, it will change what it says. There you are, please stand by. Initializing scan. I've got, I think, at least two Wi Fi's in this house. Now, the reason this is convenient because you won't have to go to your PC to add Wi Fi. Normally, you have to fire up Pi Star, find your IP address, and do it with the PC. With this way, you don't have to. Um, so now we're going to go to this one, is the one I use, Mercury 10. I'm just going to add my password without you seeing, and then I'm going to click yes. I'll just show you partially so you know that the enter password it says here. Let me just work out. So it's got a yes here for enter password. I'm going to go yes. And then you get the keyboard. Start typing the, the item. So let's just go... And you can see how you need one of these styluses, really. It's quite small. And this is what Carl says. It's not really worth putting it on the 2.8 version. It's too small. And I, I actually agree with that. Let's just look to see where caps are and, and small. I'll just show that caps are here. Oh, let's go. I was too slow. So tap it. Wi-Fi. Scan. Scan network. Initialize scan. Very funky, good visuals. That's the one we want. We're gonna get, then we go, see that, that's wrong. Uh, oh no, actually no, let's go back. I need to delete that. So let me get the password in. Enter password, then we got, over here it's caps look, like so. It does, caps highlight, but the R doesn't change. Go R, see that? Caps. Backspace is here. So then we go R. Backspace. Caps. R. See that? Small R. And just be careful that when you when you do caps, it also makes the top line. So if you've got caps on, yeah, caps on. It also changes the numbers. So if you're tapping the numbers and you're not getting the numbers, yeah, caps on. Look, see that? Just remember that. I've done a, part, a temporary password here. So um, let's go backspace. Uh, y, oops, backspace, caps. Backspace, take caps off, and go enter. I'm going to go, there's the user, password, 
Yeah, let's see if it signs in. It says reboot the hotspot. Tick. And I think we unplug the Ethernet now. Remember the Ethernet was in the whole time. And let's see if we connect. There you go. Connected fine. I'll tell you what I'm curious about. I know that the initial setup, you need the, the Wi-Fi cable in initially. But can we change Wi-Fi when we are already connected to Wi-Fi? That's the interesting one. So we're going to go DV Mega Wi-Fi. You are already connected to the Wi-Fi. This function can't run. Okay, so no, that, there's your answer. But still fun to see that. But look at all these other functions here. I can connect to D-Star reflectors. Yeah, I can do that if I'm on D. Obviously, you need to be on D-Star to do that. We've got the clock. Change the clock, screen saver, 12 or 24 hours, date and time here, back. Uh, let's do, you can update with radio, radio net update, Pistar update uh, and upgrade. Look that, update and upgrade. Look, see that? Uh, what else are we looking at? DAPnet, sending DAPnet messages, send a message. Definitely download the DAPnet whilst you're there, you know, if you go on this. Let's go back. I hit the map. Now, the 7-inch the screen does more than this, but look, look at the map. Do that again. That's your last heard. I'm endeavor, I've only just turned this on. So then also, on the main screen, it's it, what's it showing? It's showing date, day, time. I know it's wrong. Um, my DMR number. Not sure what the chef old means. I need to set the location properly. CPU speed and temperature. And I, I have turned my fan off because I just have. Uh, but you should have your fan on, especially if you're on a seven inch. This is 3.5 inch. It's showing the frequency that I'm on as well. 431550 is normally DMR. Let's grab my DMR radio. All right, let's give a shout out. We're on talk group 91. Look here, you see history. M0, FXB, Mike0, Fox X3, Bravo, calling for a contact. And eventually you'll be able to change DMR talk groups using this screen and Fusion, but not yet. At the moment, it's, it, it will do that on D-Star. So no joy there, no contacts at the moment. But anyway, thanks very much to Carl. Remember, this is a free update and it takes a lot of work. Please be patient. Please don't send several messages asking for things. One message should do it. Just be patient and uh, you'll get these nice little updates. And, you know, how good is that? This is a 3.5 version and it's going to be on the 5 inch and the 7 inch. And it's going to be on the, the, the simplex hotspot and the duplex. Thanks for watching my channel. 7.3, all the best.